What's up, everybody? Yeah, I'm right back at it. Doing them in the building, everybody. Let me pop my sh for a little minute with y'all today. Today, I will be talking about Deion Sanders and Kyrie Irving. So I would love for y'all to stick around with me. This ain't going to be short. I ain't going to talk y'all head off today. But I'm going to give y'all my take on everything that's going on with Kyrie Irving and Deion Sanders. Y'all ready to go? Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get right into it, everybody. Now, everybody know primetime Deion Sanders is a Hall of Fame football player. One of the greatest, to me, probably the number two greatest athlete of all times. Primetime Deion Sanders in his day, man, can do everything. It's like God gave him the gift to do absolutely everything on the football field, uh, playing baseball. Deion Sanders was is like a god in sports. You know what I mean? We don't and on doing them, we ain't gonna idolize any athletes as gods. But Deion Sanders is the next best thing smoking. And you know uh, uh, the HBC. You know, for a uh, historical black college. So the De Deion has really transcended that school, the state, the environment, the people. He brought a lot of change to Mississippi. He brought a lot of things. He even took money out of his own pocket to fund some of the 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 things that the the, the team needed. Uh, he reached out to a lot of people, and Dion really turned the city around in Jackson, Mississippi. He turned the culture around in Jackson, Mississippi. And we got to give a big props to Dion because he helped and mentored a lot of these kids. He turned these kids' life around. He showed them that there is a way out. Dion also has two sons that plays on the team. Yeah, I think he has a quarterback and something. One of his sons is a quarterback. And I forgot the other one, um, what position he played. But Dion has really helped the culture and the people out in Jackson, Mississippi. So we got to salute primetime in a big, major way. But, you know, it was things going on when he first started, when he first got the head coaching job. They was breaking into his office and stealing stuff out of the office, breaking into his cars. You know, they were just doing low down, low down stuff. And I'm not on here to bash Jackson, Mississippi, the the state, the people, uh, nothing like that. But Dion had to know what he was getting himself into. You know, he wanted to start from the bottom. That's what he did. He started from the bottom. He gave them people a way out. You know, he gave the people of Jackson, Mississippi, the fans, the culture, the state, the city. He showed them a new way, man. He showed them a new way. But now he got to move on. That just that is what it is, everybody. We just, he got to move on. And you can't blame him. You can't say he's a sellout. You can't say none of that. Because here, here's the kicker. If you have a job, right, and you love your job, but another job is willing to pay you. Now, it's another job willing to pay him for his services five times more than what Jackson State is, is paying him. You know, Deion Sanders had kids. I know he already have a lot of money. So really the money ain't the issue. But it has to be something on the inside that we really just don't know about. Maybe Deion Sanders was trying to reach out I don't really think, in my right opinion of mine, I don't really think he wanted to leave. I really think he tried to reach out to a lot of celebrities and people that he knew that, you know, to try to, you know, help help him along, you know, put their investment in and, you know, to try to keep him around. And I don't really think that panned out. So, you know, when all that being said, Deion Sanders had to high step his own way to Colorado which they will be rolling out the red carpet for him. I mean, they really are really talking about paying Deion Sanders real, real big money. 
and he gonna turn that city around. He gonna turn that state around. He gonna turn everything around there too. I really think everything Deion Sanders is touching on will go to gold. So I will salute him on that. But one thing, dude, them gotta come on, come on. Let me pop my sh- for a little minute though. In that little press conference, Deion Sanders was referring to himself a lot. I'm go come to here and I'm gonna do this. I'm finna show y'all I'm finna do this. I'm finna do that. He said a lot of eyes. Come on, Deion. Everybody know, man, football is a really football. Out of all the sports, is really a team sport. You know, he 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 being sorry, he, he being everything is focused towards him. You know how prime time always used to be. Come on, Dion, this is not about you. This is about the kids, Dion. This is about helping them kids out. So stop always looking at yourself. Stop being conceited about yourself. Come on, it's about the kids. But let's move right along, everybody. Let's get to Kyrie Irving. You know, and I don't always agree. And dude, I'm saying this on my platform. I'm not agreeing with what he said or what he tweeted or anything of that nature because I don't really know anything about all of it. So I can't, I can't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Dude, now, I'm not going to speak on a lot of stuff that I just do not know the background about. I don't know the history about. So I just cannot really comment on stuff like that. But I real comment on this. I know that Kyrie Irving has taped the Nike, the name Nike, he has taped that off on his shoes. Uh, disagreement with Nike because of the thing that he tweeted. They canceled his contract with them. So he wrote on his shoes, I'm free. And you know, everybody know what that means. Um, Kyrie Irving, it also some questions I would love to ask. And I don't know why a lot of people are not asking this question either though. Kyrie Irving, I don't know if they with the Masonic thing or the um, all seeing eye with the pyramid and but Kyrie Irving has that pyramid in the all seeing eye tattooed on his body. He has it in the palm of his hand. A tattoo of the all seeing eye and the pyramid. He has some signature shoes with the all seeing eye and the pyramid on the shoes, on the Nike shoes. So he was in bed with the same people that he's talking about. Now let's call a spade a spade. Now Kyrie, you was in bed with these people and you made money with these people. But I can understand that you are trying to find your um, peace of mind. I can understand where, that you are, if you are searching for your the truth, if you were searching for the light, I can understand that. But let's, you know, put a big shine on that you was in bed with them. But a man can change. Everybody can change. This is America. We have the right to change. We have the right to better ourselves. And we're supposed to have freedom of speech. But everybody knows freedom of speech cost. And we know that. So with all that being said, I salute Dion. So this is dude them bringing y'all the update and the latest news and everything that's going on. If y'all like this video, hit the like button and continue to rock with dude them. I will continue to upload videos. This channel is brand new. So I would love all of y'all to start subscribing right now because each video will get better. Dude them signing out. Yeah.